morning. This is Coach Monica with Coach Monica's Morning Minute, and we are still continuing our series called Kiss, Keep It Simple, Sister. And today I want to share a scripture with you. It comes out of 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10. This is the New International Version. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. So today's topic is love and laundry. Let me tell you, if you're like me, one of the things that I used to dread was folding laundry. It seemed like every day I had another load of laundry. And instead of having the right heart about the service of laundry, I would always have a negative spirit. And as you know, that does not glorify God. So sometimes it's hard when we have these mundane chores in our lives to have a joyful spirit. Well, let me encourage you on how I tackled the laundry issue. So as I was really dealing with that issue of having that negative spirit, I asked the Lord, I'm like, Lord, please help me to not be so negative and so rebellious in this issue of doing laundry because I should be grateful that I have a husband that I can care for and do laundry. I should be thankful that I have children because I love my children and I know they're a gift. But it always seemed to be this negative issue, this glooming cloud when it came to laundry. So I now take the opportunity that whenever I get a fresh batch of laundry, whenever I take it out of the dryer, I like to fold the laundry right away. And what that means is that in my mind, I'm thinking about how my sins have been washed by the Spirit of God, by Jesus' blood. And I remember that. I recall that every time I'm taking the laundry out of the dryer. And it's fresh. It's got that great smell. And you're kind of excited because... It doesn't smell the way it did when it went into the washer, okay? So again, I recall the truths of God whenever I'm doing laundry. And I take the opportunity to pray for the people I'm doing laundry for, okay? So for example, if I'm doing my son's gym shorts, then after they've been dried and they're fresh and I'm folding them, I pray for my son. Whenever I'm folding my little girl's panties, I pray for her. I also pray that the Lord would continue to bring joy into my heart in caring for my family. When I am doing my husband's socks, it seems like I'm always doing socks. I like to pray for my husband that the Lord would guard him, would, um, would help him in the path that he has. And so it's really awesome to take that opportunity to pray for the owners of the clothes, okay? So also, I come across some things that are mine, like a shirt that's mine, okay? So you might think, okay, so do you pray for yourself? And the answer is yes, I do pray. So whenever I come across my own laundry, I pray for myself. I pray that the Lord would continue to use me. I pray that the Lord would guard my heart. I pray that the Lord would keep me from sin. I pray that I would continue to follow his commandments. I pray for myself, okay? So I want you to take the opportunity to think that there is love in your laundry, okay? And it can be time for prayer. It can be a time for thanksgiving. We should be thankful that we've been called to be moms. We should be thankful that we've been called to be wives. And you might ask, well, I'm not married and I don't have children. But you do laundry for yourself. So ask the Lord to pray, you know, ask the Lord um, to help you in your times of need. Ha ask him to reveal to you his will in your life. Also, it's an opportunity that whenever you're praying for yourself to think about when you wear those outfits, like if it's work clothes, you can ask the Lord to help you and encourage you in your work. If it's maybe clothes that you wear in the gym, to ask him to help you to, to remain faithful, to persevere whenever you're at the gym, because it's not always fun, right? So again, the whole point of love and laundry is to realize that you're doing a service and the service that you're doing are for people that have been given to you. They're gifts. So again, keep that in mind that there is love in laundry. 
I hope that I encouraged you today and you have a wonderful day.